Hello, it's Kylie from Paint Wing. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to draw and paint a kookaburra with watercolors. The painting on the left is my first practice painting. I did this one a lot quicker just to get the colors down. And then the one on the right is my final painting. I'll have the full tutorial for that one on Patreon. For the drawing, I'm going to start off by creating a loose sketch of the bird. I'm using a hard pencil because they're light and I'll be able to erase the lines easily if I mess up. You also want your lines to be light so when you paint you don't see them through the paint. So for my drawing, I'm starting off by creating simple angular lines. By breaking down the drawing into simple shapes, it makes things a little easier. Also while I do my sketch, I'm keeping my hand further back on the pencil. The closer you go to the tip of the pencil, the tighter your drawing will be, and I'm just not to that point yet. So here's my first sketch. Things are pretty simple right now. So I'm going to redefine that. And then I'm going to start gently erasing my drawing. I'm erasing until the lines just show lightly. Now I'm going to go in and add the more defined details. I'm applying more pressure, which is why the lines are darker. I'm also moving my hand closer to the tip of the pencil. This will help me be more in control. During this step, I can also make any corrections to my drawing. For example, I drew the eye a little far away I also drew the head a little smaller than it needs to be. And now that my drawing is done, I'm going to erase a few areas once again. The areas I'm going to erase are where the bird is pretty light. I don't want the pencil lines to show through the paint that I add. I'm going to start off by adding yellow ochre to dry paper. And I'm going to add a little bit of raw umber over here. And then I'm going to blend those two colors together. I'm adding a diluted wash of Payne's Gray to the neck. A little bit more yellow ochre over here. And then some back on the neck over here. I'm 
I'm going to keep adding yellow ochre with a medium sized round brush. And the next, while the paint is still wet, I'm adding some burnt umber. And then here I'm mixing burnt umber with some raw umber. And then using my 3 over 0 round brush, I'm adding some stripes to the wash. And now let's allow this to dry. After this layer dries, I'm going to add some fine details using burnt umber paint. I'm going to start on top of the head and then around the eye. And then I'm going to switch to using raw umber. And next I'm going to fill in the beak using yellow ochre and raw umber. So I'm starting off by adding a dilute amount of paint to the bottom beak. And then while that dries, I'm going to work on filling in the eye with burnt umber. I'm leaving a little white dot for highlight. And then I'm going to blend out this paint into a gradient by dipping my brush into water. And now for the top portion of the beak, I'm using a diluted amount of Payne's Gray. I'm just going to fill that in and then dry it. And now that the eye is dry, I'm going to go back over some of my lines using Payne's Gray. I'm making sure my paint is pretty saturated so it appears dark. And then I'm also going to be adding some details using Payne's Gray to the beak. And then to add a shadow to the lower beak, I'm adding some raw umber. And then some paint scary on top of the beak. And then blend that out. And then using a diluted amount of burnt umber, I'm adding some details. 
and some more details on the body as well. And then around the eye, I'm adding a diluted amount of Payne's Gray. And then for darker marks, I'm going to switch to using raw umber. And now for the wing, I'm going to add a light layer of Antwerp blue. I'm adding this paint to dry paper. And then I'm going to allow it to dry. While it dries, I'm going to add some details to the chest. I'm using a small brown brush and some dark paint and I'm adding these little marks. I'm also going to paint out the foot a little bit. And I'm going to paint out an impressionistic wing. I'm going to start by using raw umber. And then I'm going to create some feather marks just using a few brush strokes. And now that I've added some brown, I'm going to add some gray on top of it. I'm just allowing the colors to mix on paper. And then for the tail, I'm also going to be creating some brushed marks. I'm going to start by using a mixture of brown and yellow ochre. And then while the tail is still wet, I'm going to add some thin lines using raw umber paint. And then I'll gray here. And then to further define the wing, I'm going to paint out some thin lines. Before I'm done, I'm going to add a thin layer of yellow ochre around the head. And then a little gray around the eye. And lastly for the wing, I'm going to add some more brush marks using raw umber. I'm adding these marks to dry paper. They'll give sort of a layered effect. Alright, and then this first cuckoo burrow is done. I ended up painting another one that took a little bit longer. This one took about 15-20 minutes to paint, whereas the other one took about 30-40. to 40. Up next I'll have a time lapse of the other painting, and then you can see the difference between the two. If you want to follow along with the other one's tutorial, I'll have that posted on Patreon soon. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching. Bye now!